Hello, you're about to see a recap of the movie, Son of a Rich. Before watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, enjoy watching. Grisha, a son of a wealthy Russian businessman, lives a spoiled life. He's known for his rudeness and a lack of accountability due to never facing consequences. His life revolves around parties, drinking, and mistreating women. One evening, after refusing to give a lift to a girl for not being intimate with him, Grisha encounters the police for speeding. He attempts to bribe officer Simayanov, as is his habit, but Simayanov refuses the bribe. Undeterred, Grisha tries to flee, leading to Simayanov clinging onto his car hood. Despite this, Grisha drives on. Later, Grisha's father Pavel bails him out of jail, despite Grisha's continued arrogance and demands while in custody. The police chief highlights Grisha's recent destructive behaviors, including damaging a yacht and causing serious injuries to Simayanov. Pavel scolds Grisha and threatens to cut him off financially, but Grisha remains unconcerned, knowing his father's threats are often empty. Stressed, Pavel seeks solace with Anastasia, his friend and a TV producer. He expresses his helplessness regarding Grisha, mentioning he can't even send him to the army due to past interventions. Anastasia suggests a colleague from her horror movie days, Lev Arnoldovich, known for his unconventional but effective methods. Meeting Lev in his eerie house, Pavel is initially frightened by Lev's theatrics but is persuaded by Anastasia to hear out Lev's plan for Grisha. Some time later, Grisha, leaving a club, chases after his towed car only to be shot and knocked unconscious. He later awakens in a stable, dressed oddly, with a stable boy named Artyom instructing him to saddle horses to avoid their lord's wrath. Confused, Grisha is confronted by foreman Avdi Mikulik, who physically punishes him for disobedience. The landowner, Dmitry Timofeev, and his son Alexei then appear, giving Avdi a whip to use on Grisha for not following orders. Dmitry orders Grisha to prepare the horse immediately, threatening harsher consequences for delay. However, once back at the stable with Artyom, Grisha escapes through a window, fleeing into what appears to be a 1860s Russian village, predating the end of serfdom. In his panic, Grisha seeks help, asking locals for a phone or police, but no one understands him. He reaches the estate's border but accidentally falls into a lake. Soaking wet, he returns to the village for dry clothes but is caught by Avdi and sentenced to hanging for his escape attempt. Just in time, Aglaya, Dmitri's daughter, intervenes. She's tired of the constant harshness and, on her birthday, persuades her father to spare Grisha. Above, a bird, actually a drone, observes everything. This entire scenario isn't time travel but a disciplinary plan by Lev, funded by Pavel's wealth. Lev, assisted by Anastasia's TV production expertise, meticulously orchestrates the setting, with hidden cameras and a sniper ready to tranquilize Grisha if needed. Pavel, witnessing his son's whipping, doubts the extremity of this method, but Lev assures him it's for Grisha's benefit. Pavel learns that Lev and Anastasia, once married, previously collaborated on a horror movie. Meanwhile, Grisha, believing he's time-traveled, reflects on his situation. The actors prepare for the next scene, following strict guidelines to maintain authenticity, including no modern grooming or accessories. Alexei greets his girlfriend Liza, who manages the horses but isn't acting, and jokingly comments on Aglaya's role as Grisha's scripted love interest, questioning the line between acting and reality. Grisha endures a tough routine in the village, waking up early, eating unappetizing food, working with horses despite his fear, using the forest for sanitary needs, wearing uncomfortable clothes, and facing whipping for disrespect. One afternoon, while resting, Grisha hears Aglaya crying. She's upset about her father's plans to marry her off to a wealthy old man. Grisha, lacking empathy, sees it as a good opportunity for Aglaya to inherit wealth upon the old man's eventual death. Several days pass, and Grisha takes a chicken, asking Artyom to help him make soup. Grisha eats it all himself, despite Artyom's effort in preparing it. When Avdi finds out about the stolen chicken, he demands the guilty person step forward, threatening to randomly punish someone otherwise. Grisha, showing no concern for others, stays silent, leading to Artyom being punished. Afterward, Artyom reveals his back scars to Grisha, which are actually makeup effects, 
But Grisha remains indifferent. Grisha's attention shifts when he sees Liza fall off a horse and glimpses her modern underwear. Believing this to be a clue about his situation, he chases after her and knocks her to the ground, trying to confirm his suspicion. Villagers quickly intervene, allowing Liza to escape. Pavel, seeing no improvement in Grisha, considers ending the project. However, they're interrupted by surprising news, Grisha is seeking Liza to apologize. Initially, the actors playing villagers ignore him, as he shouldn't know Liza. But Lev sees this as a chance for progress and instructs the actors to guide Grisha to her. Grisha apologizes to Liza, who is cautious and armed with a stick for protection. She accepts his apology but remains cautious. Days later, the village celebrates Ivan Kapala night, a holiday full of magic and legend, where it's believed that those who spend the night together will be bound for life. Grisha introduces the Lombada dance and starts a conga line, joined by Aglaya, who confesses her dread of an arranged marriage and her plan to walk into the lake. Grisha, however, is distracted by Liza and shares stories of future technology with her. Feeling sorry for his loneliness, pretends to believe his time traveler claims. Their conversation is interrupted by Artyom, who informs Grisha that Aglaya is near the lake. Grisha rushes to save Aglaya and brings her back to the village, but when she advances towards him, he rejects her and goes looking for Liza instead. Finding Liza absent from the party, Grisha heads to her house, where the crew quickly hides. He expresses his desire to spend Ivan Kapala night with Liza to test the legend, but she is uninterested and shuts the door in his face. The next day, Lev decides to make Liza Grisha's new romantic interest in the script, turning her into another actress in the elaborate setup. Liza isn't fond of Grisha and refuses to kiss or sleep with him. However, she agrees to help reform him, which doesn't sit well with her boyfriend, Alexei. In the story's new development, Alexei, portrayed as a drunk noble, causes chaos downtown and injures the sheriff, believing he's entitled to do so. Grisha, instead of being appalled, envies Alexei's wild night. Things shift when Dmitri asks Grisha to take Alexei's punishment, offering freedom and better food as a reward. Grisha agrees and this time, he shares his food with Artyom. Meanwhile, Anastasia and Lev begin to reconnect, causing Pavel to fear they might reunite. However, Lev dismisses this idea, revealing that Anastasia actually loves Pavel, news that surprises him, as he thought their relationship was purely physical. Grisha endures a severe whipping, which Pavel can't bear to watch, leaving the room. Anastasia follows him, assuring him of the effectiveness of Lev's methods, as they helped her quit smoking. When Grisha goes to claim his freedom papers from Dmitri, Alexei intercepts him, assaulting and ridiculing him. Grisha contemplates retaliation but chooses to walk away silently, to Lev's dismay. Despite this, Grisha continues his stable boy duties and grows closer to Liza, developing feelings for her. On a walk, they spot a drone behaving erratically. The production team prepares for an emergency, but Liza distracts Grisha by referring to the drone as her lifelong guardian angel. The crisis is averted when technicians regain control of the drone. Alexei and Aglaya are frustrated with the current situation. Aglaya is upset about being replaced by Liza as the love interest, and Alexei is unhappy with Liza spending time with Grisha. Their frustration culminates in an intimate encounter in a carriage, which Grisha and Liza accidentally witness while passing by. Consequently, Lev dismisses both Aglaya and Alexei from the production. To lift Liza's spirits, Grisha adorns the stable with candles and prepares a special dinner, which they share using the same fork. Later, they enjoy stargazing, where Grisha confesses his wish to marry Liza if he were free. He admits he wanted to hit Alexei but restrained himself, seeing his own reflection in Alexei's actions. Touched by his growth, Liza kisses him. In the real world, Aglaya appears on a talk show, exposing Grisha's supposed abduction and torture for entertainment. The police announce an investigation, causing panic for Pavel, who wants to end the project. Lev insists on continuing, planning a final heroic act for Grisha. They concoct a Mongol invasion scenario, and Grisha, spending time with Liza, is informed by Artyom about the attack. Grisha believes the story and suggests fleeing, but Artyom, prompted by Lev, 
claims the Mongols will burn the village if not confronted. In the staged scene, the Mongol leader demands a woman after receiving food offerings. When a father tries to defend his daughter, he is killed in a duel, but his sacrifice frees her. The leader then chooses Liza, but Grisha, overwhelmed with fear, flees. Disappointed, Pavel considers ending everything, especially with the police approaching. However, Lev believes in Grisha's potential for heroism. Inspired by the drone, which he perceives as Liza's guardian angel, Grisha returns on horseback, rescues Liza by knocking out the Mongols, and they escape together. The police arrive but are convinced by Pavel, Anastasia, and Lev that it's just a movie shoot. Meanwhile, Grisha and Liza reach a gas station, confusing Grisha. As Liza is about to reveal the truth, a sniper tranquilizes Grisha. Waking in a hospital, Grisha is told by Pavel he's been in a coma for three months due to a car accident, leaving him confused about the village and Liza. Returning to his old life feels unfulfilling, and he even gifts his car to Captain Simayanov as compensation. In a club, he encounters Alexei and Aglaya but they feign ignorance. However, feeling sympathy for Grisha, they eventually lead him to the ranch where Liza works. Later, at Pavel and Anastasia's wedding, Grisha brings Liza and expresses gratitude to his father for the transformative experience. Grisha then becomes involved in rehabilitating other spoiled rich youths using the same village setup. Thanks for watching, don't forget to put a like and subscribe to the channel, by this action you will help us a lot in promoting our channel.